Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 7th of November. So we've been counting five waves in blue up through here and um, from wave four to wave five, we're looking for five waves in a lower degree of these green labeling here. I still think there's one more to go here, but if there is a top in place here, we're gonna go short under this low here if you're not short already. Now, this particular structure to the upside here, I don't particularly like it as five waves. I mean, it counts as five waves. And the problem with counting this as five waves is wave four here should be much more complicated than it is here. Um, so it sort of it bugs me a little bit. So this market could just continue to push higher as well um, here. But anyway, let's just go on. And we're not going to miss anything because if this 3,100 here becomes the support, it will be something like the classic trading levels pattern uh, here, like this here. So we'll be able to, you know, move in over here and move in over here and so on uh, here. So uh, let's go in and have a look at this uh, structure here so as it stands at the moment, I'm going to from wave, uh, well, from wave four here is wave one and two, not a problem. Wave three is okay, an A and a B and a C here for wave four, not a problem. But I'm going to use this here as wave one and two here. And then that would leave me with wave three all the way up through here and wave four pulling back uh, into this space here, um, which is a bit closer to our... Um, 38.2% retracement level here, a bit closer, so that's quite good. And um, if you may be short already, if that's the case, just keep the stop above the top here. But if you're not short already, then this particular low here, we can look to go short at this particular point here. It would be safer if the 65 was the retested resistance, because then we're outside of group two here, because um, you know, being well, being on this side of group two here on the lower side of group two, 65, 72, and 80, it's rejecting the high at that point. But normally, group two becomes the support within a structure, so and that's the same above the level as well. So, what we look for above the level is 10, 20, and 30, one, two, three, uh, and then five and eight. The Fibonacci numbers above. So this space here is just the normal um, vibration space for this particular number here. And normally we would see a correction in this space here because when the market does push up here and comes back down to test it, that's normally the support for the market there at that stage. And these become the resistance on the first trip to the upside here. Getting through one, two, and three is hard work un unless there's already been a correction, but in the first instance, it's moving up here. It finds these very tough here because this number's pulling them back all the time with larger orders gathering in this space here. But once you've had a correction here and the correction has finished, <clears throat> then the move up, we use these to build our long trades on. But in the first instance, it moves up, will be the first high above the level. So I'm counting it like this here and on the tick chart. So we're going to go along a below here with a full trade and if you want to if if this high does get taken out here i will have a closer look at this structure but if it gets taken out then we can you can move up to the the 100 at that point on the tick chart here i'm looking at it like this here with wave one and two here with wave c here of one and two and three and four and five here with wave one and two here and all the way up for the third wave here an A and a B and a C for the fourth wave here. What I'm looking for here now is one and two here and three here. Is that part of three? That's three there. So an A and a B and a C for wave four here and then up for wave five here. So there's no rush with this because once that moves up into this space here, you'll see an A and a B and a C coming back, probably sitting on... Um, uh, the, the 72 here is really important. I mean, there's lots of important numbers in all of this space here. I mean, I've got 65, 72, and 80. They're the, my sort of skeleton um, num numbers of the framework for, for this. But um, the other important numbers here are 68 is really important, 70 is important, um, 75 is important, and 78 here is important here as well. So there's lots of other little numbers in, in here, um, but this is just the framework of it. So what I'm suggesting here 
if if you can visually see one and two here and three and four and five come up here then an a and a b and a c as this pulls back here you'll have that top here so you can go long above that top i've just suggested on the one hour chart that you find support on top of 80 here so <clears throat> that could make it a little bit easier at that particular point but if you can see those five waves building to the upside there well then that's fantastic so we'll just grab those there one two three four five here to make that and we can just i can't draw on this side it's a little bit annoying i have to say but um we're going to also have a look at the nasdaq as well i find the nasdaq a little bit clearer with all of this So if we just open this up a little bit here, if we take this low here and take it to that level there, then we can just have a quick look at this here. That's good. That brings us in on this in this space here. So that's about right. I need to pull that apart actually, but that's okay. That's kind of what we're looking for. So once that high comes into play here, when you see the market pull back, you know, you might be able to, I can draw on this side. So, you know, the market moves up here and comes back here as an A and a B and a C. You can take that one, you can take that one, or you can just simply draw a line through here and, and take any of these and add to these to the upside there. Let's have a look at the NASDAQ. So with the NASDAQ here, <clears throat> counting up as one, two, and three, ABC for four here, that's all cool. And then one here and two here, then one and two and three and four and five for the third wave, fourth wave here, and then one and two here, and three here, an A and a B and a C. This is the 38.2% retracement level here at that point. So we could also go, now we could, if I could just copy that here, we can also go short here as well. You can also have that, if you're still long here, you can have that as the stop there as well. And on the tick chart, it will become a bit, on the tick chart, it's labeled a little bit differently. Um, so on one degree smaller um, out here. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and five here for this. So the ABC is a little bit clearer here. So uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five for the A wave here. That's cool. Oops. And the B wave to here, then one and two here and then down for the third wave to this point here, and that will give us five waves of a smaller degree in there, one and two and three and four, and then one and two and three and four and five for the third here, fourth pulling back to the fourth of one lesser degree, and down for the fifth here. So what we need to see here to confirm this to the upside here is we need to see uh, five waves in this. So I think this doesn't look that crash hot there does it so that's probably a better move here so wave three here an a and a b and a c is an expanded flat and then we're looking for that fifth wave here and then we're looking for that abc for wave two coming back here so once again um a classic trading levels pattern on top of this one here i mean if, so yeah you can go along from that point or you catch it on the ABC and build in on this side and that side there. Um, definitely need to be um, definitely need to be short below this period, this this here. Okay. So I mean you could probably <clears throat> there would be a case for counting this to the downside as being bearish. Um, but if we get that five waves to the upside there, well, then this count is right. So we've got it covered both ways here. You could probably get in a little bit earlier here. If the 72 here becomes the retested resistance, you'll be able to get a small trade in there. And if the 65 becomes the retested resistance, you can get a short trade in here. And also the, the midpoint, the 50 here, if that becomes the retested resistance, you can get a trade in here. If you're trading through these numbers here, 321, the market gets very choppy and 
and bouncy within all of this. So, I mean, even when it hits three here, the norm, it comes back to four, but um, quite often it comes back to five as well. Retest that supply at that point there and then move down from that point. So keep stops out of the way if you're going to go much lower at that point. Um, yeah, you don't really, you want to move your stops once this here becomes the retested resistance at that point. So, um, yeah, so... Friday closes strong, then Monday's going to follow through on that. If Friday closes weak, then Monday's going to close weak as well. They're going to follow through on each other, so just keep that in mind. Um, all right, so just to recap here, I mean, this here counts nicely as an ABC to the 38.2% retracement level, but it could get bigger and uglier to the downside um, because we could count this um, in an, a, the beginning of an impulse wave as well. Uh, so we're going to go, we're going to go below this one here on this, but you can build in earlier on this if you're going to go long. You can see that the number two here, this is the number two within minor group one here, and. <clears throat> If you know a little bit about the number two, then um, if this becomes the retested resistance, then we'll see further downside at that point. But um, this this here would the, the fifty would be the catalyst uh, for that because really this is just a spike down from the two. So and if it finds support back up here, then it will go up from that point. But if it definitely locks in here and takes that low out here, it's going to be pulled back down uh, from that point. So let's just see how that plays out from that point there. But there's a good case for both directions at this stage. Alrighty, um, that's it for that. Thanks for um, tuning in.